Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. This channel, or this channel, pff, yeah, this channel, this um, particular episode is going to be like a huge haul of items that I've got recently. I know I've done a couple of my most recent videos were of my face, my Facebook hauls. Oh my gosh, I can't talk today. My flea market hauls, and um, those are just specific to the shopping trips. The items I have today are just <clears throat> things I've randomly picked up over the past several weeks, not from the flea market. And again, like I've said before in previous videos, when I buy one or two things, I don't want to do a whole video. I could do a short, but I keep forgetting to do those. Um, and I know shorts, like short videos, like on YouTube and TikTok, get like so many views. So I really got to start doing that more often. I just, I forget it's out there and I haven't done that many of them. So I might try and do this more in the future. But, um... I have such a huge uh, haul here, so I figure I'm just going to do one big video. So I'm not even going to pretend that this is going to be a short video. It's probably going to be long, so grab a soda, tea, coffee, whatever, something stronger if you want. But um, this might be a bit, and I might get chatty. So then again, maybe not. I mean, it's been a really full day. I had um, an event this morning with some women, and um, like a mom's thing. And uh, so that was nice. Did a lot of talking there, and then Josh and I had our date. Like, we have a lunch date every week, once a week. So, we had that. So, we were chatting on that. So, I, I've been in a really good mood, in a, in a chatty mood. But, like, sometimes my energy gets depleted really fast when I, I do a lot of talking. And, um, so, I don't know how this is going to be today. I might do part of this, and if I kind of get to the point where I'm done, I might do this in bits and pieces. I mean, I'll, I'll edit it all together, so you'll see all of it in this video. But for me, I might do like 10 minutes of this and be like, okay, I'm done. <laughs> so it's even funny today because I'm driving in my car and I was like praying out loud and just because I think better. If I try and pray in my head, my thoughts start to wander and I forget that I was praying. So I have to pray out loud, but then I was starting to get like a headache from talking out loud. <laughs> like, all right, sorry guys, I have to pray to you in my head. But then I stopped because I, I don't know, energy, whatever, introvert problems. Anywho, so I have a lot of cool cool items. I have no idea what I'm going to title this video at, or title this video. I can't talk today. See, it's too much talking. My brain's like, we're, we're getting depleted here. So if I make it through this whole video and actually do this in one sitting, it'll be a miracle. Like seriously. Um, but I, when I buy these items, I just let them sit here. I don't let myself use them or display them. Like I just, they sit in a pile until I do a video and I don't, I don't want to use them because I'll forget about them. So <laughs> This stuff has been sitting here for a while and I really want to start using some of these items or sell them or or what have you. And some of this is clothing. Like most of this is vintage. I have a couple items that are clothing. Um, but I'm just gonna show you because they're kind of fun. So I think I think you'll get why I want to show you. But um let's go ahead and get started. Oh man, I'm not sure how I want to do this. I think I'm just gonna start at this end of my pile and work my way over. I've like I'm like I have a circle of stuff around me here. So anyway, um the other day I was at Goodwill and I have to quick say I've been I've been getting some really good stuff like for the past few weeks I've been finding stuff like every time I go shopping so it's been a really good really good shopping period time period whatever um, and today I got like a really big item so I'm gonna end with what I got today and um, so yeah it's been a really good good wave of stuff so anyway I got this little sugar bowl I believe it's a sugar bowl I just got it because it was so cute and I love the shape of it. The The maker is, and I will take a picture of this. I will also put this on the screen. It's called the Edwin Knowles, M. Knowles China Company, made in the U.S., Yorktown shape. So um, I've looked this one up and I haven't found the one with the red stripes. I've seen some really cool, of, of this um, maker, I've seen some really cool plates and, and teapots and the one I really like has these colored ships, these pastel color ships. Um, I might include a picture, I might not. I'm going to have to make mental notes as, or make, when I go through this edit, I'll have to make notes of what I want to do screenshots of. So that might be one of the things I, I, I may not include if I, I have a lot going on. But I just love this little shape. I haven't even taken the tape off. I'm really hoping there's no chips underneath. But it was only $4. It was $3.99. So for that, I'm like, I think I'll go ahead and grab that. I'm not sure if I'm going to keep it. I really want to keep it, but I already have a sugar um, shaker. It's like a little glass bottle with a turquoise top, and it's really nice. It's kind of like a restaurant sugar pour thing. Like, you just pour it out. You don't have to use a spoon or anything. It's really convenient. But, I mean, I can have two sugar bowls, sugar dispensers, right? Like, who cares? Okay. 
Next item, this is really cool. This is really exciting because it's Majolica. It's, um, at least that's what it was called. I got this at a silent auction. It was actually funny because I bid on a couple things and a couple weeks went by and I forgot about it. And I decided, you know, I'm not gonna go back and check on my items. I probably get outbid and I probably didn't want anything there badly anyway. So I just forgot about it. And um, I ended up winning this and one other item and I only spent $3 on it. So it does have one chip somewhere. Where are you? Oh, here we go. That does have one little chip and I didn't, I didn't realize that until after I picked it up because it was in a glass case. And I didn't ask to see it. Like, you can ask someone to come back and be like, can I, can you pull this item out? So I can kind of give it, you know, a thorough going over kind of thing. Uh, but I didn't do that, which was only $3. I don't care. But very, very pretty. I just, it's not my most favorite plate, to be honest. But I like the, the idea of it being with Jolica. It's that, that old, I don't know if you call it clay or stoneware or something like that. It's just, I like, I like these kind of plates. Anyway. Um, very random item. But I just got it because... It's one of these brass cradles. I actually had to go on a Facebook page the other day and see what this holds. This has like a couple, two bowls, like a, like a, I think a white bowl, the two white bowls that go with it. And I've never seen it before. It's $2.99. And I more just got it because it's really cool and interesting. So if I find the bowls later, I'll have a really cool chip and dip set. Did I just, oh, I just realized something. Oh wait, no, it's fine. Okay. So I'm looking at the bottom. Sorry. I got distracted. It's got these little brass feet on the bottom and I thought it I thought it was supposed to have three, and I only saw the two, and I'm like, oh no, is it broken? Because there's nothing here. But then I realized the pictures that I've seen of it, this is like the back foot, if you will. This, it rests on this, and then the two little brass balls for feet. So that's kind of cool. So that might be one. Of, that might be one of those items I sell down the road, or if I find like, like a bolt. Like I already have a chip, um, chip and dip bowl set of a couple. I really don't need another one, so it might be one of the things that's kind of fun to find the bowls to go with it and then sell it or just give it to somebody who could use it. Sometimes it's just fun to grab things. The other items, these are really cool. Okay, so if you've been on my channel before, you know that I love tiles. And I saw these and, um, let me just quick show you. There's four of them. Let's see if I can do them all at once here. Well, not at once, but, you know, holding them. So they're these little wood framed tiles with these old ships. I just thought these were fa fascinating. They were $1.99 each. And this particular day at Goodwill, it, the red tags were half off. So I got them for a dollar each. So, cause they were red tags, quick show you the back here. Let's see. We're not even. So I couldn't pass them up for a dollar each. So I'm not sure what I'm going to do with them. I used to have a real, um, fascination with the old, I think they're called clipper ships. And, um, I used to think they were so cool, very fascinating, very, they always belong with these romantic stories. I think growing up with like watching movies like, movies like Treasure Island and like these old Disney movies, they always had old Disney movies where characters would go off in these ships and like adventures would inevitably ensue. So anyway, I just thought they were really cool. Anyway, not sure what I'm going to do with these yet, but I couldn't leave them behind. So, and then this is just random little piece. It's just a Pyrex lid. These, I used to be able to find these for a dollar. This was $3. So I think Goodwill is catching on to Pyrex lids, but um, they had four of them. And this was the only one that didn't have a chip. I was going to initially buy all four, but at $3 each, I, I didn't have a use right now for them. I just wanted to, I like to buy Pyrex lids when I find them. If, if they're a good price and if they're in good condition. So I figured, you know, I've just got the one and call it good. So I have a box down in my basement full of Pyrex lids. So in case I come across a casserole dish that needs a lid, um, which happens often, I can pair them up and stuff. So, okay. I got this pillow the other day. I drove like pretty far away to a couple thrift stores. I hadn't been to in a while. And I was in such a funk. I was like kind of like in an off mood. And the, this store in particular, um, the road was, I was already in funk and then the road was closed. And so I went on their Facebook page to see, if they were even still open and they're like, yeah, we're, they put that they were open and that you park at this one business across the street and come in the back door by the dumpster. So it was really awkward. Cause then I went in the back door, like they said, and the people working there, they're all working in the back and I'm trying to explain why I'm there. And apparently whoever made this Facebook post didn't tell anybody in the back of the store. So I felt like <laughs> I made such a 
such an idiot. I'm like, the Facebook post said I could come in the back door with a dumpster and the door. I'm like, so anyway, the one lady kind of nodded. There was finally one lady who nodded, like, yeah, that's that's what you're supposed to do. Like, she must have been the one who made the post and didn't tell anybody. So they're all kind of looking at me weird, like, oh gosh, I'm so embarrassed. Anyway, so I had driven almost like 45 minutes to the store and I felt so like uncomfortable in there. Like, I felt so awkward. Like, I'm not walking out of here without buying something. I gotta make this worth my while. And the store is packed with really cool stuff, but I was already, like, mentally just not, not with it. So, I walked around and walked around, and finally I did find, I did find this little pill. <laughs> of all the, the things I could have bought, they had a lot of vintage glassware, and nothing was calling me. But this little pillow, I just fell in love with. I think because it was a calming picture. This nice little outdoor scene these little rabbits all by himself well he's got the birds I like the flowers on here i just love the print this sweet little cottage his little thatch, thatched roof cottage his little chimney even has smoke coming out of it the sunshine i love the little mushrooms like the little path it looks like winnie the pooh like like where winnie the pooh lives little path little wood gate and where where does this go like i want to know where this goes i just it was a, I don't know, I'm buying used pillows, I'm always a little sketchy on because you never know where they've been or anything like that, but you know what, it's cute, it's fine, I don't care. And I've bought used pillows before, so. Um, I don't remember how much I paid for this, I think it was $2 or $3. So, I just, and the back is just this little, I guess you call it gingham, I don't know, but it was so cute, can you blame me? It was Easter around the corner, it gets some nice, nice happy little decor. This is another reason I wanted to do this video because I want to put this someplace. I want to use it, but I can't use it until I do my video because my brain won't let me. <laughs> anyway, all right. Ooh. And that same day I told you I went out and I drove like 45 minutes to these two particular thrift stores. They're in the same town, but they were like a few miles from each other. And I found this really cool. Oh, there's my receipt. I need a receipt. Give this to Josh later. Um, and I actually still have it wrapped up. I haven't even taken it out yet. Can you tell what it is yet? Can you see? Can you see? All right, let me get it. Let me get it out of here. I got it for a good price. Ta-da! It's a Parks lasagna pan. Back in the day, these were impossible to find, and they were so expensive when you did. Um, and they're still not that easy to find, but more and more I am seeing them on Facebook Marketplace. But these go for, I think they sell around $40, $50. I got it for $17.99, basically $18, with tax probably $19 something. It was $19 something when I bought it. So under 20 bucks for a Pyrex lasagna pan is really, really good. Um, and I don't think it had any cracks or chips. I, I looked at it real, real fast. I probably should have taken a longer moment to look it over. It does have some baked on, like this baked on black grease stuff. But usually, <clears throat> usually that will come off with Barkeeper's Friend. So I'm probably talking too fast. I'm trying. It's funny, I was talking to my kids today after they came home from school, and I could feel myself talking too fast. Like, I've got to make a mental note when I do my video to slow down. I just get so excited, I just want to spill it all. Okay, so got that. Okay. So, oh, this next item. I'm so happy I found this. This might have been one of my videos. I went to the One Goodwill, saw this item, didn't buy it, went back for it, didn't see it, thought it was gone, went back a third time, and I found it on a totally random different shelf. So... Here it is. Just, just a basic little holly leaf jar. But I just thought it was, I love the leaves, the holly leaves. The paint is in perfect condition. Look how shiny it is. So nice. Um, it was only $1.99. Two bucks. It's all, you can see the rubber. Look how like dried out it is. The rubber ring here. You can see the cracks in it. But it's so cute and I love, I'm not sure what I'll do with it exactly. Um, it's a quarter, one quarter liter, I guess, one fourth L. But um, this would be really cute to pull out around Christmas time. I think this would be perfect for putting in the um, the Hershey Kisses, the Christmas Hershey Kisses. The like the shiny foil in here. Oh, I love it. It's so cute. I was so excited when I found it. Um, I think all the stuff here in this little pile is all from this particular shopping trip. I think, or close enough anyway. And I found another little, um, I got another one of these little glasses. Pretty positive this is just like for like a votive holder, but I like to use them for little drinking glasses. And so I've quite the stash now for Christmas. But I like the cardinals and the holly leaves. 
really, really, really pretty. This was a dollar ninety nine, so two bucks. Not too bad. And then I got. Oh my god, this! Oh my god, this! It's Christmas, and I like the Christmas geese, the white geese, or goose. This is well singular, so this would be a goose. If there were two, there'd be geese. But anyway, dollar ninety nine, as you can see. But um, somewhere on it, I thought it said something. Oh yeah, uh, made in Hong Kong. So. Usually if it says made in Hong Kong or Taiwan. Oh, you can't see that. There we go. That usually means vintage. 25 plus years. And it just has um, two sets of cards in it. So, can you see that? You have a bunch of playing cards, which is nice. So you can play Go Fish or Poker or... My son recently taught me the game War. Have you ever played that? That's actually pretty fun. It's, it's a long game. Um, I'm not going to go into describing it. You have to look it up. But... Playing war with cards, it's fun because it just keeps going. And it's perfect with, I think you can, you can do more than two people. Um, I think you might need more more cards, more than one deck of cards, depending how many people you have. But it's actually a kind of a fun, relaxing game. I like that. Oh, there goes. Anyway, that was a totally, totally random thing. So $2 for that. I, I liked the little Tim. Had the goose on it. Had the holly leaves, Christmas, hearts. I mean, I just, vintage, just so I figured this would so I figured this would be fun to sit out and also practical if anyone wants to play a card game. And then I got more Pyrex. <laughs> Look! Can you believe I found this at Goodwill? No, it is scuffed up. It is it is a mess. I do need to clean it. And the black Pyrex is a matte finish. So this is not dishwasher damage. If you look at the white, oops, yeah, it's hard to see. It's really hard to see. I might do it a different angle. Shot. Can you see oh, a little bit? Yeah, look right here. The light's catching this one. It is shiny. Like the white part's really shiny, but um, the black is always a matte finish, so it, it scuffs so easy easily. You can see all this. Ah, so I'm hoping they'll wash out, but they most likely won't. I'm holding it up to the light, and I'm not seeing a whole. Lot. If you don't see the scratches through the paint, is probably probably just surface scratches. Um, and actually it looks pretty good. Like there's no light coming through the black. Like I don't see any scratches. Uh, maybe a little bit, like a little bit on the, here on the edge. I'm seeing some light coming through. So I am going to try Barkeeper's Friend, but I'm going to be really careful because with the matte finish, I don't know how well it will respond to it. But I like the, the snow. Oh, duh. Oh, it's upside down and backwards. <laughs> Sorry. It's two ninety nine. It's three dollars. Three dollars. And I actually think I might have a lid for this. I'll have to check my Pyrex lid box in the basement. But this will be perfect to pull out around Christmas time. I love it. Look at the snowflakes. I'm so excited. Cannot believe I found that. All right, we must keep moving, folks. We must keep moving because you have lives to live and don't want to hang out with me all the time. Okay, so this was something I just grabbed the other day. And the other day I was at, I got these for a dollar. They were $1.99, but the red tags were half off. Um, I got two of them. I'm just going to show you the one. Um, if you can see it, show it real closely. They're actually little paper. You know when you make cupcakes and you have the little papers in the cupcake thingies? These are for little bunt, bunt cakes. So you can see the little cardboard. At least that's what it looks like. I think you can actually put these in the oven. Like how else would you get your cake to bake in there? You can see here in the picture, it's got a baked cake. Um, so I'm assuming this actually can go into the oven. I didn't um, read it. Bake, serve, store, give, and recycle. No pre-greasing or messy cleanups. Oven safe up to 400 degrees and freezer safe. Um, and they have it in like French and Spanish. So anyway, um, but yeah, you actually can put it in the oven. The reason I got these two twofold, one the Christmas. Look at the pattern. Sorry, I should have shown that to you first. The front picture probably didn't really do it any justice. But it's so cute. It says Merry Christmas. Has snowflakes and Santa Clauses and little stockings. And I think there's four in here. And around Christmas time, I love to make rum cakes. Rum cake is so good. Um, and it's good too because your kids can eat it because it all bakes out. The rum bakes out, but it tastes so amazing. And I think this would be really fun to make a bunch of little rum cakes and put them in here and give them away, you know, along with Christmas gifts or as a Christmas gift. I've never seen these before. Um, so I'm hoping that they would do well. This one looks like it might be kind of hard. Look at this. It's kind of 
hard to see. I'm, I'm sure that's that's together okay. So I, I might, what I might do is use one, one and just experiment and just to make sure it turns out okay. And then if it, if, if it's fine, fine, use the rest of the batter on the other ones. Have you ever used these before? Like, do they, if you have used these before, like, do they work well? Like, would you recommend it? Like, I've never seen them before, so I'm wondering if that's a bad sign that maybe they didn't hold their shape and cake batter, like, poured all over ovens. I have no idea. If you've used these before, please let me know. I'm really, really curious to know how well they work or if there's any tips I should know about. I'm assuming I should put it on a cookie tray, not just like straight on the um, oven rack. All right, I got another bracelet. I think I showed you guys, wait, where are the other bracelets? Oh, they're here, okay. I was gonna say, um, I didn't think I'd show you these before. A while back, I got a couple of bracelets at my local flea market and they had writing on them. The one says, uh, make a difference, and the other one says, find your passion, something like that. They're white bracelets or like an off-white with black writing. And I just love them. I just thought they were so cool. And so I realized after a while of wearing one of them that there's a sticker on the inside. Never saw it before. And it said two cities. What does this one say? Yeah. Or two's company. Two's company. Excuse me. So I looked on eBay. I'm like, oh, good. I have a company name now. I can look them up and I can see if there's any more of them. I found some, I found three of them and I bought all three. <laughs> I bought two of them right away because they were really cheap. And then the third one, I hesitated. And finally the one day, I'm like, you know what, darn it. I'm going to get it. I love them. So, uh, the one I, the one I bought last, last minute was this one. Again, it's going to be backwards. So the, the, um, the camera, sorry. It says true love stories never have endings which I thought was really sweet and romantic, which is that's true, you know? So I just thought that was sweet. I just, I'll, I'll put them all on during the video, but I just, I love the, the bracelets that have, have the stains on. Anyway, I got two more. Um, and there's this one. This one says, kiss me all the way around. Oops, can you see that? Actually, I purposely got this because I thought, um, Josh and I were going to do something for Valentine's Day. We actually ended up celebrating over the weekend because it was on a Wednesday and the kids had an event, church, whatever. So we ended up going, and I was going to wear this. <laughs> Completely forgot about it because it's in my pile of the stuff I want to do a video on and hadn't done a video yet. So anyway, but he did kiss me anyway. So it worked out. But um, so I got that one too. This one's more pink. Like this one's got red writing. And this is more pink, which is still fun the other two the original first two that I bought had black writing so I like that the the lettering is there are different fonts and they're also different colors which oh, love it I don't know why I love them but they're so cool okay and then the last one so the um I think this one was in a bag I love this one someone actually put in a little box with tissue paper I when people take like extra effort I forget what this one says I think it just says believe actually I think that's all it says believe oh believe in yourself so it does say believe but again it's it's bigger block writing it's black believe in yourself so so cool yeah and it's called two's company made in china so i think the one ebay post i think it said they were made in the 80s so um I think that's would be correct. It would make sense, but they might be guessing. And I think that was the only eBay post that specifically said when they were made. I didn't do a Google search. I didn't research or anything. This is literally just on eBay, but I just thought these were so fun. Ugh, I love them so much. Okay. So that's that. Yeah, okay. okay. So the next item I have for you guys is, well, not really for you. Um, but to show you, you know what I mean? is these Christmas cards. Actually, let's take these out. It's three, they were $3.99. I think this was another one of those half off because of the red tag, I think. Actually, I haven't even had a chance to go through these yet just because they were in the bag, you know, piled for the video. I just, I remember, this one sold me. And for a couple bucks, I figured this was a bad deal. Um, there's this one. Let's see, I wonder if they say anything inside. Oh, this is cute. Oh, I like this. It's got a picture on the inside. Like a little tree. And it says, just a warm and friendly greeting, bringing best wishes for Christmas and the year round. That's all there. Does this not say anything? I like this. I got, I got to know. I got to know. Wishing you all the joys of Christmas and happy, 
and happiness in the, in the new year. Talking to himself. But I'm really, I really like this. At least two. Oh, there's another one. Ah! Oh, there's some cute ones. Oh, hold on. I gotta turn the camera. Wait. How am I gonna do this? One second. Okay, I haven't gone through these cards yet, and these are so cool. I'm seeing some, like, um, strawberry shortcake. So there's this one with the train. How sweet is that? Oh, look at the little village. Ooh, let's zoom in. So zoom in. There we go. Oh, I like that. What does it say inside? Best wishes for the holidays and happiness throughout the new year. Oh, it's a little train on train track. I like that. Sweet. Oh my gosh. <gasps> Strawberry shortcake Christmas cards? Are you serious? Oh, these are so cool. Oh my gosh. To wish you every happiness for the holidays and New Year. Oh my word, is there a date on these? Let's flip this sucker over and see what we got here. Uh, just a strawberry shortcake. Oh, my Roman numerals. I'm going to have to research my Roman numerals. I think that's 82. I think that's 1982. Let's double check. Oh, that's so cool. Yeah, that's awesome. I wonder if the rest of these are just the same. Yeah. Yeah, that's all the rest. I don't think there's anything. Wow. Okay, that's cool. I think I'm seeing something different. No, these are all the same. All the same. Oh, what's this one? Oops. Like an announcement for something. Okay. Oh my gosh, those cards were so cool. I got a good deal on that. I got a really good deal on that. I have no idea how much they're worth or valued or anything like that, but I don't care. Very, very cool. Okay, pressing on, moving forward. All right, we have more Pyrex. So this technically wasn't thrifted. This was at my local like little like antique shop slash co-op. I'm not sure exactly what you want to call it, um, but I saw on their Facebook post they had a bunch of pink Pyrex bowls. And I just assumed that I, they would ask, like, a lot of money for them. But the one day I knew I was going to be driving past, like, you know, what the heck. Let's go inside, see what they're asking. And if it's a decent price, maybe, you know, because I love pink. Like, I love, love pink. And look how shiny it is. Oh, my gosh. Anyway, went in there, and it was only $15 for the one. They had three bowls. They had three of the smallest of the four. And they had some dishwasher damage. And they had lost some of their shine. But this one was by itself for only $15. And I think this one, this is the third largest, is the 403. Um, these bowls came in 401, 402, 403, and 404. So 403 is the second smallest, or second, wait, third biggest, second, well, whatever. But it is two and a half quarts and just the shine. Oh my gosh, the shine. Oh, I love the pink so cool so i was very very excited to find that i can't believe I, i've been doing so well on pyrex lately i haven't seen it in months oh my gosh like and every once in a while if i do find it it's like a pattern i don't really want or care about it's like town and country um something like that that's a very to me the most boring pattern <laughs> um the early americans okay um the butterfly gold is so common i don't mind it but it's very common but pink and turquoise are hard to find and some of the promotional casseroles um, with certain patterns are kind of hard to find. I have some items that are not vintage, but I think we're fun and we're cool. So I'm just going to go ahead and show you. We're, we're in it for the long haul here. It's going to be a long video. I warned you ahead of time. <laughs> so if you need to pause or come back to this one, that's fine. You can, but um, I went to Walmart the other day looking for an Alice in Wonderland sweatshirt because I saw it um, on a Facebook page. Um, I didn't find it, but I found something, some other cool stuff. I got this really cute uh, Care Bear sweatshirt. This is Walmart. I look at. I like these because these actually had decent. I don't. Wanna, I don't know if you want to call it a decal or um, embroidery or a patch, but it's not just like glue, like printed on. It's actually like like sewn or something. I don't know. Like this looks like a patch, and then it's got the little the little hearts. Now the main picture is like stuck on. I just, I thought it was so cute. I really wanted the Alice in Wonderland one, um, but I really, I fell in love with this one, so I was good with that. And it's got a hoodie in the back. I love hoodies. And then I actually, I went to four Walmarts looking for this. One of the Walmarts had one pair of pants left with Alice in them. They're like extra small, and I don't think I've been extra small since I was like 10. So, um, 
So I finally put on Facebook, I actually asked some of my friends, like, if you, because I have some friends who not, don't live in my area, I'm like, if you find this at your store, can you, like, let me know, and I'll pay you back, obviously, shipping extra, even if you find it. So I actually did have one of my Facebook friends find it. She was actually down in Tennessee, of all places. So she snagged one for me, so I gave her my address. I'm like, just let me know how to pay you back, because, like, I'll pay you extra plus shipping. Like, I don't care. I wanted it that much. But I did find the one... The one Walmart I'd already been to, I went back because I kept seeing the Care Bear sweatshirts where I got this. I finally, like, I finally was like, I want the Care Bear sweatshirt. And when I went, there was a section where they had the pants I had not gone through yet. And I actually found one pair of the Alice pants. They were my size and everything. And I don't, I was just so happy. Anyway, so I got these. Look how cute. Oh my gosh. Look at the Alice. Mushrooms. Can you see that? Oh my gosh. Mushrooms. Alice. And the bread and butterflies. And I like these too because with the other other Alice in Wonderland um, with the sweatshirt, it was the same as a Care Bear where it had like the patches on the arm. Um, and this has the same thing. It's like embroidery or like patches. It looks more like patches. Um, oh, that is so cool. So excited. One pair left in my size. So... And eventually I will get the sweatshirt, so I'm so excited. And mom, you know who it is. If you want to know who it is, you got me the sweatshirt, you have to text me because you know who she is. Um, actually, you might have guessed since I said where she is, but she used to, my mom and her were like really good friends. Well, they're still good friends, but they don't like live near each other anymore. It's so sad. It's so sad when friends move away. Why do they do that? Okay. I have more stuff. Can you handle it? Can you keep going with me? Can we manage this? I think we can manage it. Okay. I probably could have broken this up in several videos, but... Okay, this, I'll make this one fast. I went to Five Below, and I got some cute stuff. Two things I got, just because they're cute. Some My Melody stuffies, or stuffed animals, or whatever you call them. What do you call them? Plushies? I don't know. Um, I just love My Melody, and I just, I thought they were cute. So I got those. And then I actually found some Alice in Wonderland stuff. The one item I actually, I got before this one. I think I might have brought this up in one of my other videos. I bought it online and it looked like it was taped in the back. So I, I took it back because it looked like it had been opened. Well, when I went back to Five Below, they all were like that. And I don't know if you can see, it's been taped over. It looks like someone had opened it. You can see the edge of the tape here. Um, so then I realized, because they even had, um, I think, light... Buzz Lightyear, they had some Monsters Inc. one, and they all were like this. They all had like tape in the back. So I'm just assuming that's just how they were made in the factory. So I'm gonna leave them in here and just display them just like this. And then they also had these. I haven't seen these at any other five below, but this one particular one had these, these really cute pocket pop keychains. They have Alice in the little teacup. Oops, that's the glare. Alice in the teacup. Oh so cute. I love how tiny it is. And then you have the Cheshire. Why am I getting glare? Um, I just, I couldn't pass this up. It was so fun. So I got this purse. I told myself no more purses, but then I found this and I just fell in love with it. I love the orange. It's like patent leather orange. Like, I've never seen this before. And I like the long strap. I like straps where I can kind of put them over like this. Because half the time, if I put them just on my shoulder, that will keep falling off. So I like like the over the shoulder or over the crossover strap. So that was really nice. And it's adjustable. So if I wanted to make it shorter, I could. But I think the brand, let me check the brand, Nine West. Actually, I don't know if it's vintage or not, but it does look vintage. I like the, the feel and the vibe. I don't know. I really should check. I haven't even researched this. I have no idea, like, how old it is. Look at the inside. It's kind of cute, too. I like all the little compartments. Very fun stuff. So I don't know what it goes for. I have no idea the value. It says $4.99, so $4.99. Got these toe socks. They're, I wouldn't have bought them if they weren't new, but they're like still strapped together with their plastic. Oh wait, that might have been for the, the that might have been from the thrift store itself. Well, they look brand new. I really don't think they were ever used and they can be washed too. But it says dance. I just thought they were really cute. I like toe socks. I think it, they weird some people out, but I think they're really fun and cute. It was $1.99 and I have enough mugs, but I just, I just loved her face. I just thought it was so fun. I woke up like this. 
on both sides. And it said made in England. I thought that was fun. Ooh, I'm slowing down, guys. I'm slowing down. I'm feeling it. Can you tell? I can do it, though. You can do this. And then I got this plate. This is only a dollar. I almost didn't buy it. Can you see it okay? But it was $2.99, but everything with the yellow tag was a dollar this day. And the back says Tiger Lily, San Francisco, 1980. So I knew it was vintage, and there was just something about the finish of it. For a dollar, I couldn't pass it up. Very pretty. That and oh yeah, I forgot about this. Mom, you'll you'll get a kick out of this. I think you'll appreciate this. I mean, you all will, but it's a Snoopy bowl. My mom loves Snoopy. She grew up with Snoopy, Charlie Brown, all those. So she's always had. Oh, it's so cute. Now this was a little pricey for uh, a thrift store. I think it does have some. It's missing some paint here unfortunately it, which is really odd because look how shiny the paint is it's not like it's dishwasher damaged or chipped or anything like that like the paint's in really good condition it looks brand new it looks like it's never used but for whatever reason i'm wondering if that's a factory flaw i think that might be a factory flaw where they just somehow the paint didn't get on there so this was 14.99 um which is okay it's fire king i don't i don't think I don't think that's a bad price. Um, however, for a thrift store, I would have liked to have spent like $5. But it was Snoopy. And it's funny too, because Josh, I mean, we all love reading the comics, the Peanuts comics. I'm trying to make sure I pronounce that clearly. <laughs> know why. Um, so we have a lot of those that I have found at flea markets. And we have them around the house. And I know Josh particularly, particularly really loves reading them. And uh, they're just, they are... They're sweet, they're funny, um, but yeah, anyway. So the next item I have to show you, <laughs> it's just, I really gotta do videos more often, with this really cool mid-century wall art. It's this, I think this is called like melted popcorn. I had to look on eBay, because I couldn't figure out how to describe this. I believe they call this teak wood, and I like the, I guess like a bongo drum, or dancer or something. Um, it was only $2.99. I could not find this exact one on eBay, but one similar sell for a good amount of money. And I love the color. I love orange. This is like that, oh, very warm, very cheerful, very happy. I love it. Oh, I love it. It's going to look so cool in my dining room. I can't wait. It's kind of funny because the day that I bought this, I also bought the Snoopy Bowl, which has like orange paint on it. And then I got the orange purse. There was like this whole like orange theme going on. Um, I also bought this. I'll just show you this real quick. Don't ask me why I bought this. I have no idea. It's four bucks. But I think it's a guitar strap thing. But the colors. Oh my gosh, the colors. I'm such a sucker for like explosions of color. And look at the look at the cool little people on there. Ah, just like the patterns are really fun. Oh, I have it might be like really cool for a, like a project down the road. I'm not sure what I would use it for. Maybe I'll just sell it as it is, and maybe someone would use it for its intended purpose, like more people. It was just, it was just hanging there in Goodwill, like right on the, the shelf. It's really long. I don't know how long this is. I think it's, I think it did pay four dollars. Yeah, three ninety nine. So there's that. Okay, moving on. Uh, this so cute. Six ninety nine. This adorable little. I think it's like a butter dish or a cheese dish. It's a little, like, country cottage on a dish, and I just, oh, I fell in love with it. It has a hole on the top. I don't know why. Um, so maybe it is a cheese dish. Maybe to keep it aired out. I don't know. Do tell me if you know. Uh, now, I did find this one on eBay. Um, I didn't look in the sold section, but someone was trying to sell theirs for, like, $9.99. So I don't think this goes for a ton of money, but I just instantly treasured this. I just instantly fell in love with it. What I want to do is put it on my little, I have this old antique wood table I put in my kitchen, and uh, I want to put this on top, and then, well, duh, I want to put it under it, but anyway, I'm going to use it with my table, and I want to put little cookies in it, like shortbread cookies or something, and then have it with like a cup of tea, and you just like, every time you want a cookie, you just lift it up and cover it again. Oh, this is so, so cute, I love it. Arr. This 
was just nostalgic for me. Two dollars. A little snakes and ladders travel game. Is that cool? I don't know the year. Is I don't think there's a year on here. I do think I looked earlier. It says made in Japan. Oh, made in Japan. Made in China. But I remember as a kid loving these. Like I used to have checkers and something else. Get a little bit closer if you can see. That's upside down. Let's do it this way so you can see the pictures. But I'm sure it's got little. You can't hear the little pieces in there. I'm assuming they're in there. Yeah, if you look in the picture up here, there's a little blue and little, sorry, the lighting's not that great right now. A little blue and red piece. So that's, I don't know, for, for $2 and in its original packaging, it would probably was from like, <clears throat> originally from like a dollar store or something, you know. But I just saw it sitting there and I had to snag it. And then I got this um, twofold because it's Christmas. It's cute, you know, precious moments. It's got, it's got like little candy canes on it, but it says, Wishing you a ho, ho, ho. Precious moments. <laughs> I showed Josh later on. I'm like, really precious moments? That's the wording you want to use? But but it is cute, though. It is cute. And it's a cute little Christmas tray. Tray. It's not like it's a tree. Sometimes I get talking fast, and I go back and I watch my videos. Like, oh my gosh. Like, in my head, I say it clearly. But when I'm talking fast, it's like, what the heck? Okay. These, okay, the last few items here, I have one, two, three, four more items. This, this, the two of them are like technically a pair, so technically it's one. But I was so excited, I was walking through, um, ugh, it's released. I was walking through the Goodwill and I found these. Now these were not together, I had to buy light bulbs for them, um, but so the, the, the shades were not on them. So I'll, I will show you one up close, but these are, these are, I don't know what I was going to say. Um, they were $1.99. So really good price, and I don't know if you can see. I'm gonna do it this way. The base—they're very simple. They're very very lightweight, but they are vintage. I can tell. You can tell with the cord. I like the base. It's kind of like like an atomic Sputnik like style, and then um, now most vintage lampshades that have like this kind of weaving are like a um, fiberglass. This isn't. It feels almost like paper. I think it is just paper. It's like a thick paper. Can you see it? But, um, it's not in too bad a condition. Like, this little section has come out. But for the, for the most part, it's in good condition. Um, I did look these up. I could not find anything exactly like these. There were ones that were similar where they had, like, a glass globe or ball. Um, and then the base is very similar to this. Um, these do work. I, um, I did test them out and they work really well and they're really cute. So I don't know if I'm going to put them in my living room or what, but I definitely want to hold on to them. They're really cute. They were such a good price. And I just, and you know what too, one of the main reasons I bought them is they remind me of, um, and I love Lucy. I don't think it's the first season. <clears throat> it might be the second or the third, but in one of the seasons when Lucy and Ricky are in their bedroom, they have, um, bedside tables and on the tables, they have these really cool mid-century, like atomic Sputnik-like style lamps, and they remind me of this. So if you ever watch I Love Lucy and you see those lamps, um, I wanted to find a picture. I was watching it the other day because I wanted to find these lamps and take a picture and show it to you guys, but I, I couldn't find the episode where they were in. There was a few episodes that these lamps were in. Very, very cool. So they weren't exactly like this. I think they were taller and I think the base was a little bit different. They had more um, like little legs and I think they had the little metal balls on the end of each foot. I cannot remember. But these were so, these were so cool. They inspired me or I was inspired by the I Love Lucy receipt. Is this something? Oh, it's awesome. um, So I had to get them. They're so cute. All right, two more items. So the Majolica plate I showed you earlier and I said, why is it getting dark in here? It was sunny when I first started this video. I got to end this soon because the lighting is just so poor. But... Oh, hold on. What the heck did I get? <laughs> this is the other item I got at the silent auction. It's a huge bread pan. Oh, I'm echoing. It's a huge bread box. It's so cool. I used to have one years ago. I got rid of it and I could kick myself. And again, I only got this for $3. No one else bid on it. But the bottom is a little rusted out, but I can clean that. It's kind of gross. But most of it's okay. And like the inside, let's show you. Whoa, shiny. 
it's nice because it has the the two shelves so you can do like hot dog rolls in one and bread on the other um now the only thing is it's really it's wide in the base like see how big it is i don't know how many inches that is so this can take up a lot of counter space so it's one of those things where i really like it i really do um, but I'm not sure if I'm going to keep it or not just because how big it is. I don't have a ton of counter space and I've been trying to clear off my counter and have less stuff. I don't know. Look how cute it is. Oh, I love it. So I don't know yet. I don't know what the heck I'm going to do with it, but I will figure that out later. And then the last thing I got, we're going to end with this. So we'll get near the end here. Today I was, since I've been doing so well, I've been finding all this really good stuff lately. I'm like, I am on a roll. So I went to this one thrift store today before I met Josh for lunch and I walked all around and found nothing. I'm like, oh, I guess, uh, I guess it's over, you know, cause sometimes that happens when you shop, you just keep finding stuff and keep finding stuff. And then you go through a drought where you could go for months and not find anything decent. Um, so I kind of thought it was over. I thought it was the beginning of the drought, you know? Um, but then I went over to their glass cases and they had this. gorgeous it is absolutely gorgeous it's ellie smith swung vase mcm mid-century modern vase it was before i tell you what i paid for it i found one on ebay today this was 25 inches i think there was one that was i should have double checked before i did this video but i'm pretty positive it was a 26 inch vase if you're not familiar with these the price usually is based on who made them, the color, and how high they are. Like, from the knowledge that I have, if there's any other information on that, you know, I'm not a professional, just from what I have observed. Observed. Um, <laughs> so anyway, I found one that the original price was $220. It was crossed off, the best offer accepted, but it's basically, basically the exact same vase, maybe an inch taller. So I'm guessing it sold around 200, maybe 180. I don't know, because they don't tell you when best offer was accepted, how much they paid. But this one, no, it's gonna be backwards. I'm still gonna show you though. Be really careful with this. Can you tell? Oops, upside down. $49.99. Oh, you headache. I love this and I love the green. It's so cool. It was funny because when I was, I was looking through the case and I saw it, and I was like, oh, I wonder how much that is. So I, was, I was started to look over at the cash registers to see if I could get somebody's attention to come over and, and look at it. So as I'm looking over the uh, guy, I guess I noticed that I was looking at the cases. And he's like, do you want to see something? I said, yeah, I just want to see a price on something. So as he's walking over, I'm thinking in my head, all right, what do we want to pay for this? What are we willing to pay? Because right now these are hot. These are really, really hot. Everyone's buying them. They're going for hundreds of dollars. I'm like, oh, he's probably gonna say it's a hundred hundred twenty dollars which I know I'm not gonna spend that I'm just not gonna do it but I was like well if it's fifty dollars or under and I really didn't think it was gonna be that cheap I guess fifty dollars or under I'll definitely grab it so he looks at it he says forty nine ninety nine like I'm trying not to do a happy dance I'm like um yeah you know, can I quick look at it you know say there's any you know chips or cracks or anything you know just trying to like keep myself from like you know doing a happy dance and a scream right there in the store but um so I looked at it and like, I'd already knew I was going to buy it. I'm like, yeah, that's fine. That's good. Yeah, I'll take it. <laughs> like, and so he, he, he had to take it because he had to close the case and he met me over by the cash register, cash register. So I went ahead and bought that. So I was so excited because then when I met Josh for lunch, I'm like, come here, I got to show you something. So he walked over to the car and I had it wrapped up in his winter jacket. I had used his winter jacket the other day. Thanks Josh, by the way. Thanks honey. Um, but I used his jacket and I had left it in the back seat. So it was perfect. And I laid this down and I wrapped it up. I'm like, look, and I like took the jacket off the, he's like, oh, that's cool. Like he was like so happy for me that I got it. So anyway, I love it. It's so cool. It's so cool. All right. This video is so long already. You guys have already given me so much of your time to watch this. So I'm going to end here. Thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate it. Um, if you want to subscribe you can you don't have to it's nice to, it is free so you don't have to pay anything um but if you want to like or comment or whatever i would love that make my day but thank you so much for watching even if you just want to watch it that's fine too that means a lot i hope you are all doing well have a wonderful day weekend or whenever it is that you see this i'm doing this i'm making this video thursday i'm going to try and get it up tomorrow on friday so whenever you see this thank you for watching and i'll see you guys later bye